I don't feel like doing like an intro and everything. I'm just gonna show you guys what happened, I guess. I guess I don't even know what happened literally a few hours ago. I don't know, I can check exactly how many hours ago it was like on a clip that I filmed. But like the last time I filmed, I did a water change and I was in here for like a good hour to two hours after that water change. I kept coming over to the beta because I noticed that he was kind of like swimming a little bit more. And I was getting a little bit more hopeful because in the clip I even showed it like kind of had this like burst of energy after I did the water change. And it didn't seem like a stress reaction or anything to like the water change. It just seemed like he was kind of swimming a little bit more upright and had a little bit more energy and was able to like go about, was able to like go around the tank a little bit easier and more. And even a few hours after the water change, I filmed this clip of him just like on one of these leaves and just kind of resting. And I was like, oh, like he's utilizing like the plant being in here. But then I literally, I, I haircut, I showered, I did a few other things. It's like literally really late at night and I just came in and I couldn't find him anywhere. So I came in and I was just like panicking and like moving all the leaves and everything. Cause I was like trying to be gentle, but I was like, where's the beta? And I even was like looking from this angle. I was like, maybe he's like wrapped up into the leaf or something. I checked over here. I checked in the back. I literally just checked everywhere and he's nowhere to be found. Well, then I kind of moved a little bit and I don't really want to show too much of him, but he is under this back leaf right here. I'm not going to do the whole process of like removing him and stuff on camera. I'm just going to properly dispose of him tomorrow. I wanted to post this video just so that you could see the, I guess, ending or update or whatever you want to call it of Illuminati the Betta's story. Honestly, I try to remain really hopeful, but the first time I saw Illuminati in the store when I wasn't filming and I was just going in there, at first I thought it was just swim bladder because I was like, oh, like you can't really get up to the surface. But honestly, once I purchased him and got him in the car and kind of saw like what could have potentially been external parasites and seeing just kind of what's in the water, I will admit that I became less hopeful. A lot easier to treat one illness as opposed to several. And because I did kind of get him not in the early stages of whatever was causing all of this, it's a lot harder to treat. Because if when I saw him, he was just like barely struggling and not just like barely able to get up, there's a chance I would have had more time to figure out what exactly was either causing what looked to be swim bladder or dropsy or external parasites because a lot of the time, swim bladder or other illnesses, just they all pile on top of each other. It starts with one thing and then it just becomes like 10 different things and it's really hard to treat. And like I said, especially because I didn't get him right when this stuff started, I got him when I saw him in the store and was already really struggling. Honestly, I haven't rescued a, a betta in about a year, mostly for this reason, because it is really hard to actually bring them back to health. You rescue a betta and it's just in kind of like in okay condition. Like I said, like early intervention, there's definitely a much better chance of survival. Fortunately, the bettas that I have rescued have typically been ones that just have a very low chance of survival and I just wanna try my best. That is often why they don't live too long. You know, they lived a longer and better last bit of their life in my care as opposed to being in the store. But I do typically rescue bettas and typically only see bettas that are either in good condition in health or they're like on the complete opposite end of the spectrum where they're just totally struggling and suffering and can't do anything. And in this case had several illnesses. I really do think that if I got this beta just a few days before, I definitely could have saved it completely. Definitely could have brought it back to full health. I was really trying to be super meticulous with the dosing of everything I was using. And not that I wasn't before, but I was just trying to be extra super careful because I knew that I didn't have too much of a chance of survival because swim bladder alone, just swim bladder disease alone, can be a 50-50 chance of survival. But when you mix that with parasites or some sort of bacterial infection, the chances of survival drop down significantly to like 10, 20%. That's why I was saying that when I saw that he had more than just this like seeming to be swim bladder disorder, I definitely lost a lot more hope, but I was trying to hold out the hope because I was like, I, I just think that this bed is gonna live. I, I just believe it. Obviously that wasn't the case. I don't know exactly obviously what caused it. I think it's probably just the natural causes of the illnesses. I mean, I barely had time to medicate or really do much. And honestly, I just did the best I could for the time that I had with the betta. And at the very least, at least he died in a hospital tank with clean water and some live aquarium plants and lots of love. Sometimes I think that fish and animals in general, when like they're not doing too well health wise, they kind of have this last little burst of like energy. I forget what it's called, but like this last little burst of like energy where like they seem to be doing better and they seem to be getting healthier. And then unfortunately they just pass away. And I think that's kind of what happened because like I said, he was swimming up to the top and just kind of swimming a little bit more normally. And he seemed like he was getting better and even his breathing started to be less labored so i really thought that there was a good chance i mean after that a little while after those things were happening i did see something that looked 
possibly like he was starting to pine cone, but it's really hard to tell because, and because his fins are so messed up, it was kind of hard to see what everything was happening, which is also something that's very difficult to figure out what is causing the illness or if he's improving or not is just the condition of his body, like his fins, his scales, things like that. And I just feel really bad because I just keep thinking like if I went to the pet store a day or two days earlier and saw him there, there's a very, there's at least a slightly bigger chance that he would have been able to survive all of this. And even though I thought I was seeing signs of him improving, I was looking into more medications that I could buy aside from aquarium salt to really make sure I was extra prepared for anything that happened. Obviously the rescue was out of nowhere in the first place, so I didn't have these medicines on hand, but it was really late at night and I was like, I'll just buy them tomorrow, but I think he's improving, so I don't think I'm gonna need to take these measures. Obviously that wasn't the case, but now I know for the future. But if there's anything I think I have learned, it's a few things. I think one, rescuing better fish is just a very taxing thing emotionally because it really sucks when you have hope and you're trying to put all your energy and effort into healing the better fish and unfortunately it just doesn't make it. And also that most pet store bettas in general come with diseases and illnesses that maybe you can't see. Just on a bigger spectrum, because betta fish have been bred for so many years and there's so many different varieties, the quality of their genetics is pretty low. So they're very predisposed to a lot of different things. And I guess something else I learned is that I just want to have all these medications on hand in case I do ever rescue a betta again or any kind of fish. I think something that's also frustrating about it, and I understand that pet store employees are kind of overworked with, with all the different animals and things like that. However, it does kind of frustrate me that this pet store didn't notice this one betta out of the entire thing. There's an entire display of bettas and this is the only one that's like laying on the bottom, has like extra food and stuff floating in its cup. It really just seems like this one was just neglect. So it frustrates me that they didn't see this sooner. So aside from me buying it sooner, it frustrates me that the store never caught it in the first place. And I get that mistakes happen. Everything can be caught, but at the same time, they're very much on display. And even if you're just walking by, you may notice out of the corner of your eye, like, hey, this bed is not doing too well because that's what happened to me. I wasn't even really looking at the bed. I was kind of more just like walking by and just glancing at them. And then I noticed him sitting in the cup like that. But it is very frustrating. And I just wanted to post this video to give all of you closure and just an update and just kind of like, you know, share what happened. But that is what happened to Illuminati. I really don't even have many words because I didn't even have him for that long where I could even like begin to figure out every single illness that was wrong with him. And that's why, like I said, I was gonna order the medication, but it was late at night and I was like, I'll just do it in the morning. I think he's improving and won't need this in the case. And even if I did order the medicine, it was too late anyway because it wouldn't have gotten here for another day and none of the pet stores around me carry but i'm going to take care of illuminati now and especially because like he seemed like such a unique fish and he seemed like he had so much personality no, i just i felt like that like just watching him but enough of the sad stuff so everyone for illuminati comment below r.i.p illuminati but i will see you guys in the